Hey guys, Arclad here, and I'm here today to show you guys a Castlevania hack that I had recently come across. Uh, it's a hack that's based on Harmony of Dissonance, and this hack here was done by a couple of guys known as, uh, I think it, how does it pronounce, Punkman, Punk, Punkmanix, Punkmanix? Uh, I'll, I'll probably post it up, uh, put it up on, on the, the vid for you so you can try to pronounce it yourselves, but Punkmix and Tony J-I-H. Uh, however their usernames are pronounced but uh, anyways uh, now before I go any further regarding this game uh, for those that don't know about the original game of Castlevania Harmony of the Sonnets uh, it was originally released by Konami for the Game Boy Advance back in 2002 and was re-released later on as part of a double pack deal with Aria of Sorrow in 2006 now, as far as the original story goes, uh, you take control as just a Belmont as you explore Dracula's castle in search of a childhood friend of his uh, known as Lydie Erlinger. Now, Maxim Kashin, who ha also happens to be just a's friend and rival, uh, explore the castle as well, though there's quite a bit more to a story than what's led on, but... Uh, that's something you'll have to play through the game, the original game, to find out for yourself. <clears throat> now, now then, back to the present of the matter. Uh, this hack is basically the same game as the original, just with some extras added to the mix. And the only thing is, um, it's only available, and it's only the hack is only playable with the Japanese version. Sadly, you can't play it with the English version for some reason. I don't know why, but... Which, that's okay. I'm willing to go with that. Uh, but anyway, for the most part of this hack, uh, you're able to play with quite a few more characters than the original two, which were just a and Maxim. Um, here, I'll be giving you guys a sneak peek at who's now available for this hack. Check it out. Alright, here we go. Made by Konami, and we've got... Uh, White uh, Midnight uh, Concerto. I think that's what it's translated to. If I'm, if I'm wrong, uh, correct me later on. All right. Uh, first thing we'll be taking a look at is um, let's see. Aside from just just a and uh, Maxim, uh, if you put in this name right here, which if those of you have played a played a uh, game known as Aria of Sorrow, you should know this person. Julius. Julius Belmont. Yes. This had the most work done on for for this uh, Harmony of the Sonnet Sack. Now you can play as this awesome dude that you could play in Aria of Sorrow known as Julius Belmont. Um, he is the only other character aside from just a that's able to access a item menu and can change equipment as far as uh, uh, using different kinds of uh, tips for your whip, uh, body armor, and some other stuff. Uh, he has access to a spellbook, but I don't think the spellbook really works for him in this like it does with Just A for some reason. I mean, I've tried different times to get it to work, and eh. But anyways, he can use items, relics, and all that stuff. Um, I had played an older version of the hack, and he was able to pretty much like speed dash like so, double jump, do the high high uppercut, and all that stuff. Pretty much uh, the same abilities that he could do from uh, Aria of Sorrow he could do here. So, this guy's pretty awesome. Um, I like what they did with him. The guys did a really good job with the, uh, with uh, managing to put Ju uh, Julius in here. Um, so yeah, uh, right now that's pretty much it. Uh, that's uh, Julius for you. Okay, another character I'm going to show you is one that I'm sure many long time. Castlevania fans know full well, yes, Simon Belmont. He is also playable in this as well, and 
The only thing about it is he's really overpowered um, with his whip and everything. It's just that eh, he's pretty slow. He can't really make him run fast, and his jumping is pretty meh. Um, I... It's got different music at the when you start the game off, which is kind of cool. Um, but other than that, as far as being able to navigate a castle like this, I don't really see much hope for Simon in this one. Uh, it's probably best if it was kept. Uh, I remember that Simon was actually available for at least a boss rush mode. But uh, other than, like I said, other than that, that's probably about it. It's very easy for Simon to get stuck in here in so many places. I don't even think it can be beaten with uh, Simon like this. However, this brings us to our next character. I'll be playing this off of an old save file here. But anyways, this is another version of Simon Belmont. Uh, kind of more enhanced where he's actually has a jump now. He's just not as overpowered. So... Uh, this is looking a lot better. Um, I had recently killed, uh, I think it was a living armor boss, and gotten been able to slide, which he kind of looks looks kind of stupid, you know, just sliding like that. But eh, what do you expect from old eight bit eight bit sprites uh, of Simon? But um, it's looking a lot better. Uh, I think he's actually able to maneuver through just about any place in the castle now if he can find the right uh, relics. Uh, he still has his, um, you know, he's still able to use whatever sub weapons you get for him. Uh, like, likes uh, the only thing for Simon in this case, like I said, uh, he can't, he doesn't have access to a menu, so he has to rely on his own abilities as if he was playing an actual Castlevania uh, platforming type of game. So, you gotta be real careful when it comes to taking damage. Your only chances of healing is at save spots. But, uh, yeah. I'm liking this one a lot better, and, uh... Let's go ahead and bring out our next character. Okay, there's actually another form of Just A you can play as in this one. If you put in the name Just A X, you play as, wow, a much faster, very agile um, Just A. He's kind of like the devil Just A of sorts, and he has like a different uh, sub weapon, which is the, th the thousand. Fists of Fury or whatever. Um, and also his whip is replaced with a sword now, which kind of looks pretty cool. Um, he can't have... He can't... He Again, he doesn't have access like the original form of Just A does uh, as far as being able to change equipment and stuff. He can't do that still. And did I forget to mention that he has... A really, really horrible knockback. Like, just taking one damage, you're like... You get knocked clear across the room for this. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, but other than that... Uh, if you can bear with it, this uh, character's not too bad. Um, think of the possibilities of speedruns you can do in this game from start to finish. Judge it by the speed he has. I mean, <laughs> this is crazy. And with that, let us move on to our next character, shall we? Okay, so much for the original Castlevania characters. Now it's time to go a little bit out of the ordinary. Put in this name right here, and you get to play as everyone's favorite video game character of all time. Yes, you're not reading this wrong. You can actually play as 8-Bit Mario in a Castlevania game. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they decided to put Mario in this, but alright. Try to run with it. Um, he's rather slow. I kind of wish you could make him run fast like you normally can in a Mario game. Um, 
also can't really uh, do what Morio is originally best for and you know kinda sorta jump on enemies uh, doesn't quite you know work that way you have to use his only main weapon which is the fireball and that's something else doesn't really go that far for some strange reason. You would think with fireballs it could shoot it all the way across the room, but no, no, not this time. It only goes like a few inches and then stops. About as much length as one would expect the uh, the whip to go, which I think, I guess that's what they were having to stick with. But Of course, Mario can use sub-weapons if he finds any, like he can throw daggers, holy water, and such. Um, again, he has no access to any kind of, um, menu whatsoever, just the, you know, usual pause. Um, and he can level up. Yes, every character, I may not have mentioned this yet, but every character can still level up in their own way. So, that's another good thing. And, um, got a pretty decent amount of defense, just, uh, you know, be careful. But, yes, eat the bit of Mario, hoo-hoo! And we, with that, we move down to our last character. If you thought Mario was strange, try typing this name in. Yeah, you're reading this right. Rockman. Now, what character comes to mind when someone says Rockman? Mega Man, of course. Yes. Like Mario, Mega Man has his own weapon, which is this little pea shooter of a Mega Buster that doesn't even go that far. Another thing I hate, like the Fireball, the Mega Buster doesn't shoot across the room like it normally should in a Mega Man game. But, you know what? This isn't a Mega Man game. This is a Castlevania game. So I guess the characters have to abide by the game's own rules, and they say you can only shoot this far. So, so far you can jump. Supposedly you can slide and do everything if you find the right relics. And, of course, you've got the sub-weapons that Mega Man can also use. So, yeah. Um, same, about the same deal with Mario, just a different character. So, that's about it for this one. Now before I wrap this up, I have one question for you guys. If you would like to see me do a Let's Play of this hack, tell me so and tell me which character you would like me to use. Because if I do do an LP of this, I'm only going to go through it once with one character. I'll leave a list in the description box, so uh, leave a comment um, and uh, let me know. And I'll get back to it uh, at a later time. So, other than that, uh, that's about it for this uh, little vid of mine. I hope you've enjoyed, and I am signing out for now. ArcLight84, take it easy. Later, guys.